Today's Power Lunch is with someone who is changing the landscape in the field of education. All the way from New York, Mr. Shai Rashef, the founder and president of the world's first non-profit tuition-free university. And I have the privilege of introducing him to my favorite Filipino comfort food. So welcome to the Philippines. Thank Shalom. You. Thank you. I'm very happy to be here. Thank you so much for uh, at least um, coming over to our country as you do your tour of Asia um, in spreading the word about University of the People. Exactly. University yes. of the People. Univers or UO People. U -O Either way. UO People, yes. Oh, that's yeah. so millennial. Just like the letters. Yeah, UO People. Um, so this show is called Power Lunch and it's me kind of bringing my two worlds together, uh, having lunch <laughs> with uh, movers and shakers of the world as you are. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure about the movers and shakers, but well, um, Huff but Post, food. <laughs> Huff Post would say that one of the greatest uh, movers and shakers of our time today That's true. <laughs> in education. I read it. <laughs> yes. So thank you. But I would all, I'm going to take advantage of your presence here to introduce you to some Filipino food. Right. I understand that um, you're here for just a couple of days. So this is a, a it's called bulalo soup. Um, it's a, it's essentially um, beef uh, with um, bone marrow. Thank this you. is a um, barbecued chicken <laughs> with java rice from one of my favorite um, go-to restaurants called Aristocrat. <laughs> so, let's talk education. Okay. Um, first of all, how, how long have you been an educator? Well, I was in, in the business of education for uh, over 20 years. Oh my goodness, but you look and very young. Did you start when you were 12? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> so, and uh, I was in for-profit education and I was in charge of uh, tens of programs for hundreds of thousands of students all over the world from kindergarten to university. Level. In the United States? Actually, it was in Europe. First online university outside of the U.S. in Europe. Uh, through partnership with the University of Liverpool, the British University of Liverpool. And that's when we realize how powerful online learning can be. Because they had students from all over the world, they can stay at home, keep their job and still get great education. However, at the same time, we also realized that it was too expensive. Most people couldn't afford it. I ended up selling um, the university. At the time, it was a for-profit university. I sold it. And oh, it was your university? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Mm -hmm. and would, would you mind? Is it okay to ask the name? Sure, sure, sure. At the time, it, it was called uh, KIT Learning. Then people knew it because it was University of Liverpool Online. Mm -hmm. So we deliver University of Liverpool degrees online. Oh, wow. We had a partnership with them. So we sold it, and then I went to New York. They sold all my business at the time, and I thought, what should I do? And I felt like uh, I don't want to be on retirement because not only that I'm too young, but also I'm too hyper. I want to do things. Of course. But I felt like I have enough. It's my turn to give back. And I wanted to do it in a way that will impact the world. So I looked around and I realized that everything they made this European university so expensive is available for free open source technology, technology that is available for everyone for free, open educational resources, which is content that professors write and put on the internet for everyone to use for free, and the new internet culture where people share, teach, and learn from each other for free. So I said, wait a second, all I have to do is to put it together and create a university. So I did. That's amazing. And I created University of the People, which is uh, the first nonprofit tuition-free, accredited online university. That's awesome. How did you uh, arrange for there to be um, free tuition? First of all, we heavily rely on technology. Mm -hmm. While all the universities have manpower and they need, you know, even when they introduce technology, it's a slow process. In our case, everything is, is through technology. We are in the cloud. We don't have any, you know, anything is anything is being done with technology, by technology. We are very sophisticated. 
which saves us a lot of uh, manpower and help us give better service to the student. The second reason is that we use volunteers. We have 7,000 volunteers. The wow. presidents of NYU, Oxford, Berkeley, Columbia, great universities, no that their presidents are, are joining us to help the students. Is this, does it become part of maybe like their corporate social responsibility for the school or, or is it just you know, out of the goodness of their hearts because they see that it's a project that, has a, like, that does a lot of good and has a lot of potential so they would gladly be part of it? People realize that the cost of higher education became so expensive that it doesn't make sense. Yeah, sometimes you're um, up to here in student loans or something. And especially, especially in the U.S. Mm -hmm. And I'm showing that quality higher education can be can be accessible, accessible and affordable to all. Mm -hmm. So we actually um, building a new model to show the world that there is a different way for higher education, which is high quality, but also accessible and affordable. And they all wanted to succeed. That's why they're coming. That's why we have 7,000 volunteers, professors, who come to help students. I'm so surprised that even the university president is a volunteer. Is that correct? Yeah, I'm a volunteer. Um, and I'm the president. Our provost, which is the top academic leader, is a volunteer. Our deans are volunteers. Um, our instructors, we have 500 instructors, all of them come to us as volunteers. So we have a group of 7,000 volunteers from whom we choose uh, those that we want to, to use as uh, our, uh, wow. our, the people who would work with the students. Is that correct that you already have received a great response from Filipinos, from so, Filipino yeah, we students? Have, we have a, over, altogether we have 17,000 students. We started uh, 10 years ago. Four years ago, when we got our accreditation, we had 500 students. In the last four years, we double every year. Now we have 17,000. Uh, 250 of them are from the Philippines, and it's growing. Mm -hmm. We have now, uh, the word is, is in the Philippines start to spread around. We had a uh, NAS Daily has mm -hmm. done a piece about us which brought over 6,000 Filipinos to sign up to the university. So we have a huge population of students and applicants. Um, and yeah, I think it's, it's That's a amazing. great country. So we are very happy to have them. How does one apply? Maybe I should go get an MBA at your university. <laughs> it's very easy. You go mm -hmm. online, mm -hmm. www.uopeople.edu. Mm -hmm. um, fill up an application, and if you meet our standards, you are in. I mean... Do I have to be a scholar? I mean, do I have to meet like a, a specific um, grade point average? For BA, and we have three BAs, Business Administration, Computer Science, and Health Science. You need high school diploma from a school that uh, is recognized. And if English, and you need to show us that you are pro proficient in English. Then we ask you to take two courses. Mm -hmm. um, you need to pass these two courses in order to become a full-time student. Mm -hmm. Similar is for the MBA, except that you need to show us that you have BA before applying. So if you have BA, uh, you can be accepted. You need to pass our foundation courses and then your regular student. So the um, foundation courses are kind of like a trial course, like to see. Um, uh, Kind of, yes, I mean, mm -hmm. it is for us and for the students because mm -hmm. it's regular university courses. For the student, it is a great way to see whom we are and how good we are and maybe because it's very hard studying with us. It's not easy. Oh. So people, it's, mm -hmm. you, need, you need to spend 15 hours a week for every course. You need to be very active. It's, it's hard studying with us. Mm -hmm. Some people find it too hard. Some people find it, you know, that it's not what they were looking for. So it's good for them to see, and for us to see that they meet our academic standards. They meet our academic standards, they get credit for these two courses, and they continue. They don't meet our standards, too bad. They I think that's great because sometimes um, some people might have the impression that, you know, it being an online university, 
you might since you have the luxury of just being at home that it might be easier but uh, it's great to realize that you have rigid standards as well um, to have a uh, competitive student who will graduate uh, with a uh, with skills that are competitive with those who are actually physically in school. It's it's true. We are tuition free. A lot of people feel, oh, it's online. Oh, it's tuition free. Maybe it's a scam. Maybe it's not serious. Maybe mm -hmm. and wish and and it's really not. It's really hard. It's very high standard, and it's important for us because our students come to us in order to have a better future. And if you don't give serious education, they won't succeed. So you have to do it in order to succeed. I forgot to tell you about this. Um, it's so much better with this. Uh, this is um, papaya. It's like pickled oh, green okay. papaya. Yes, goes well with the uh, uh, sweetness of the um, chicken. Mm. So we're uh, sweet people, we like sweet food. <laughs> sweet people like sweet food. Okay, yes. I'll buy. <laughs> When I enroll, do I really not pay anything at all? No, you will mm. pay. <laughs> <laughs> there is no tuition and they study for free. But then at the end of the course, there is assessment fee. Mm -hmm. It's $100 per course. Mm -hmm. So a full degree, four years, is mm -hmm. 4,000 US dollars. Whoa! For those who cannot afford it, mm -hmm. we try to offer scholarships. So the mission mm -hmm. is that nobody would be left behind for financial reasons. Mm -hmm. So we try to to have enough scholarship for those who cannot afford even the one hundred dollar. And you know, so four thousand is compared to as compared to. Uh, how, how, I sorry, I'm I'm not from the United States. So how much is a college degree now in the it in the US? It depends where it can oh. be hundred thousand. It can be two hundred thousand. It can be three hundred thousand US dollars. Yeah. Compared to four thousand, oh my goodness, I, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. So, um, since you started, how many uh, graduates have you have you had? Is it cool? <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> it's good food. What it is, right? <laughs> yeah, thank you. It's my favorite. So, as as I um, as I said, we're young, and four years ago we we had uh, only five hundred students. So the number of graduates are not big. Um, and also because we give the students up to 10 years to graduate. Mm -hmm. Many of our students work while studying. So we let them study slowly, slowly, so they can fit it into their life. We have a lot of students with families, so you know, it's, it's not, usually most of them are not 18 years old who come and study full time. So we have now uh, close to 400 graduates. And and they are working in great places. We have graduate work with Apple, with Google, with Microsoft, with mm -hmm. IBM. Uh, so we are very proud of their, uh, their performance. Um, and since we're growing so fast, we expect soon to have many more, so yeah. That's amazing. Do you have um, partnerships with corporations who will hire the, your graduates after they graduate from your online courses? or? Are they simply, you know, so better educated that they're able, able to get new jobs? I, I guess that's a given. At the beginning, because we were young, we didn't have any anything. Now we start building courses for them. Basically for those who need to know how to open a LinkedIn page, how to write a resume, how to search for a job, how to uh, perform in an interview. So we're starting building uh, courses for them. Real world... Uh you know, you don't learn these things in school, so I think it's cool that it's, uh, yeah, we, we de yeah, we develop a career service center mm -hmm. for the students to help them. Who would have ever thought, like, and if I was like in college, I would never have thought that I would someday need a course to understand how to open a LinkedIn page, <laughs> right? I mean, I guess it's a, it's a whole new world, and um, I guess the the it's new generation um, needs those skills, and as we do uh, in this new world. It's true. It's um, a new world, but it's. I could never have imagined that I would need to do like, what? How, how to open your own website? <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. So we so we help them. Uh, we help them uh, with that. Uh, we plan to start talking to companies, especially uh, international companies. Since it's already tuition free, and then all you're paying for really is the um, assessment. Assessment, and um, if you get a scholarship for that. 
you might actually get a course for for almost nothing. For not, not if you get scholarship, it's nothing. If you that's don't, amazing. If you don't get scholarship, it's still almost nothing. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. UNESCO stated there are that there are one hundred million students that cannot afford going to college. We want to show that there is a way to educate these people. And a lot of people like here want, want quality education. And today, quality education can be inexpensive. So why not give them? That's why we, we invented the internet, right? Not we, but the internet yes. was inve <laughs> invented. If you can take education and bring it to everyone, and there are people who want this education, they want quality American education, why not give it to them? It's available, so that's what we do. That's great. I also saw that you partnered with different schools, is that correct? How yeah. does that work? So we have agreement with, uh, with NYU, where our... I would want a degree from NYU. <laughs> and the president, the, the previous president of NYU is the chairman of our uh, president oh. council. Can we apply? Yeah. We're all going to apply. <laughs> you can, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but sure, but will not? we be accepted? <laughs> Will we meet the rigid standards of the university? I know that you can apply. I don't know if you can be accepted. That's a different <laughs> question. Yes. Um, so we then were you, our students, after a year with us, can apply to transfer to NYU Abu Dhabi. There's an NYU in Abu Dhabi? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, th our, I think, there, isn't there also an NYU Singapore program? Yeah. Near? Yeah, well, <laughs> they, they, have, they have quite a few in the world. Mm -hmm. There is in Shanghai another. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, we have an agreement with uh, Berkeley, you? UC Berkeley. Berkeley. Also, so our associate degree graduates after two years with us, they get associate degree. It's American half degree, two years on the way to the bachelor. So after two years, they can apply to transfer to Berkeley to complete their BA on campus with Berkeley. And we have a similar uh, agreement with Edinburgh, the Scottish Edinburgh. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so in other words, you do um, two years online and then two years uh, at university, like physically being present at the university? If they're being accepted, yes. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. Um, but when they transfer to university, um, do they then, then it's no longer tuition free, right? Mm -hmm. Then they would have to do... Uh, as they would like at a regular university, whatever the fees are. So the question if you need or not, mm -hmm. NYU has a lot of scholarships. So anyone who needs scholarship can get it. Mm -hmm. Berkeley, the agreement with Berkeley is for everyone, mm -hmm. but it's mainly for people from California because people from California can get much easier scholarship. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, it depends whom you are and where. Obviously, we cannot promise them scholarships, but uh, if the universities, and I know that, that uh, students from California who need help can get help. I know that NYU gives to everyone who needs, they have enough That's resources. Great. So yeah, it is, wow. it is great. You also mentioned uh, that you have tied up with UNESCO, is that correct? Or were you just inspired by um, these statistics and you just wanted to help because of no, that? No, stat it's statistics mm. of uh, UNESCO. We don't, I mean, mm. we, we work with a lot of organizations mm. around the world, mm -hmm. but um, basically the degree is our degree, it's an American degree. Uh, we announced the university at the UN, but wow. uh, yeah. What was that like? Mm -hmm. Exciting. You gave a speech? <laughs> uh, yes, I gave a speech mm -hmm. and uh, it was nice. I think, you know, because what we're doing is so revolutionary, we get a lot of support. Mm -hmm. uh, because it's, it's to offer people who cannot get higher education, to give them the opportunity, mm -hmm. it's good. So people like it. So yes, we get a course. lot of support from university presidents, companies, we have agreement with companies that support uh, our students. We have mm -hmm. foundations such as the Gates Foundation, Ford Foundation, Hewlett Foundation. They all support us to make uh, this dream come true. That's great. Yeah. I think it's so wonderful how it seems that the whole world is coming together now to support this project because we just have to build each other up and help each other, exactly. right? Yes. Exactly. So, I, I mean, it's, it's the youth, they're our future. Mm -hmm. The youth are our future, and with the internet, you know, the world is a small world. We can connect each other, mm -hmm. and 
you know, 30 years ago, you couldn't bring education to people who live in island in, in the Philippines, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. In a small mm. island. Mm. Now, as long as they have internet, they can study that. Yes. Your diploma will say University of the People. Exactly. You're a, you're a U.S. graduate. Exactly. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. That's yeah. so yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I also have dessert for you. Mm. <laughs> I hope you can try some of Filipino dessert before you uh, okay. travel to Tokyo. These are our desserts. I mean, um, it's just ahead, like when you're when you're done. Um, one is buko pandan, so it has like um, buko is coconut, and um, the other one is like a caramelized flan. <laughs> we call it leche flan. Wow. Okay. <laughs> mm. Do you like it? It's good. Awesome! I'm so happy you like leche flan. <laughs> it's good. I'm gonna bring this to New York. <laughs> mm -hmm. You should. I like the food. What can I say? <laughs> Yay! Um, just a, a message to anybody who would like to benefit from this amazing online university. Mm. Well, they should just go online to uopeople.edu for education. Uh, see what we offer, if they like it, apply, and start their future. That's yeah. great. Thank you so much. Thank you for inviting me, yeah, and thanks thank for you. the great lunch. <laughs> what an honor to have Power Lunch with this game changer. Giving aspiring students worldwide the opportunity to have quality first world education without having to leave your country and at minimal and possibly zero cost. Mr. Rashef's University of the People is truly for the people.